Hi, welcome to Wise Guys. Radicals and the operations. This video I was going to show you simplifying cube rules. Cube rules. We're looking for when we factoring. We're looking for three factors. For example, the first question: the square cube root. 162. You can factor out to see 162 is even, even digit. So we divide it by 2. 16 divided by 2, half of 16, 8, half of 2 is 1. And 81, we know 9 times 9 is 81, but cube root it's better to divide it by three because you are not sure if there are three, three, or four, three, or two, three, right? So it's better to do three, which is, this is 27, right? And divide the three again, and you got, this is nine, you got the three again, you got three. So 162, equals 2 times 3 times 3 times another 3 times another 3 so you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 3 times together but we need a cube root we need 3 of them right? 3 of them so we can write down what you did is you got exactly you got square a uh, cube root did you write the cube root? 2 times 3, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 3. See, this is to show your work exactly what you're factoring. 1, 2, 3, 4. But these 3, any this 3 or any 3, it's easy to do this one. These 3 will get out the radical because cube root. So if you cube root, you find 3 number multiplied together. So which is 3 cubed, right? So you equals 3 cube root. These 2 and the 3 stay inside and multiply together equals 6. So the answer is 3 times cube root 6. Also, sometimes you can write it this way. After this step, you can write this way. cube root, this one you got 2 times 3, and this is a 3 cubed, right? You can write 3 cubed, and this step to this side, then you see, okay, this is a cubed, so the cubed with cube roots, they will cancel each other, so 3 go outside. Okay, this is the first one. Second one, Example is cube root two fifty. Two fifty is divided by ten divided by five because we're looking for if there are three five, so we do this one divide the five. And the 25 divided 5 is a 50, right? Then divide the 5, 50 by 5, you got the 10. And divide the 5 again, you got the 2, right? So that's why you have 3, 5 here. So you can write down this way. If you can write down this way, you see this is a 5 times 5 times 5, which is 5 cubed, right? And then multiply by 2. Then you call cubed, cancel with cube root, you got the 5, the answer is 5 times cube root 2. Third example, let's to see this one. Cube root, negative 135. 
negative number. As we know, the cube root can be have negative number because negative multiply negative multiply another negative you got the negative. So that's why when you do cube root with negative number, the first step you can write pull negative out when it's a d5, right? So in case you forgot you forgot and then we fact out 135 because last day is 5, we divide the 5. So 13 divided 5, you got 2, and 3 remainder, 35 divided 5, you got 7. See, you only have one 5 as a factor. So you got 27, then you can see it divided by 3. Got nine divided by three. Got another three. So you have three, three, so which you can write negative cube root. You can write three cubed. You have three, and then multiply five. And you give the answer equals negative three cube root five. Right. This is the answer. The last question I would like to show you here. Cube root 448. 448 is even number. That's why you can divide it by 2. Because divide it by, by 2 just a Half of each digit is easy. Two to four because each one of them, each of them are even. And divide the two again. One one two. And divide the two again. Eleven divided two, you got the five. And the one remainder twelve divided the two equals six. And you keep going to do this one. Two is twenty-eight. And divide the two is fourteen, and divide the two you got the seven. So how many two? One, two, three, four, five, six. So which you got? Cube root. You can write one, two, three, four, five, six. Two to the six exponent multiplied by seven. Because six exponent six is divided by three. And also you can see one, two, three, these three, two, get all radical is two. And the other three, two, also get two. So that's why you can see two to the six, actually you got the two to the square, because six divided three equals two, you got seven stay inside cube root. So the answer you, you give you is four cube root Seven, right? This is the exact answer. This is the exact answer. Exact answer. Calculator give you approximate decimal is approximate. If we want to exact, this is four cube root seven. Okay. Thanks for watching. Presented by Weissler.